So 93 on 6.3b has to do with airplane traveling and we're going to look at ground speed versus air speed. So an airplane travels in the direction of 148 degrees with an airspeed air of 875 kilometers per hour. Due to the wind, its ground speed and direction are 800 kilometers per hour and 140 degrees respectively. And that's the figure down here. Find the direction and speed of the wind. So let's talk about air speed first. Air speed, and this is without the wind. That's what air speed is. And so we know the magnitude, and I'm gonna, the airspeed I'm gonna call U. Magnitude of U is going to be 875 kilometers per hour. And then theta, remember we're looking at the directional angle. So the directional angle is actually gonna go all the way around and then hit at that angle there. And so we need to find that. So one way to find that, it's up to you how to find that. So I'm gonna do 360 degrees minus 148 degrees minus 90 degrees. And so what we find is that theta, our theta is 302 degrees. Now let's look at ground speed now. Ground speed is with the wind. And so the magnitude of the plane with the wind is 800 kilometers per hour. And then theta is uh, from, again, that's 140, but we want this, right? That's the true direction of the airplane, but we want the directional angle. And so that is going to be 306 degrees minus 140 degrees minus 90 degrees. And so we find that theta is going to be 310 degrees. So that's our important information we need. So let's write our two equations. So let's write the airspeed first. So this is going to be u equals, the, and we're using this formula, magnitude of u cosine of theta i plus magnitude of u sine of theta uh, times, or j. And so that's just the basic formula we're using. And so let's write the actual u. So that is going to be the magnitude of u is 875 cosine of 302 degrees j plus 875 sine of 302 degrees. Ah, that's our j. This is i. I apologize. Uh, and then let's write our ground speed. So v is going to be 8 100 times cosine of 310 degrees I plus 800 sine of 310 degrees J. Uh, and so what you can do is just simplify it with numbers. So if you plug this in the calculator, so I'm going to simplify it here, you get about 463.68 I minus 742.04 J. Then for this one, you will get 514.23i minus 612.84j. So in order to find, let's see, the wind, okay, so we're trying to find the wind, that is going to be v minus u, okay, v minus u. So then you just subtract these vectors, and so then we'll get the resultant vector. So this is going to be 460, let's do, no, let's do the bigger number first. Five, that's why I said V. 514.23 minus 463.68, and then negative 612.84, and that should be, oh, and you're subtracting it. So minus a minus 742.04, so that becomes a positive Write a component form. And when you do that, you will get 50.55 and 129.2. Now we need to find tangent, or actually we're let's find the wind speed. So the magnitude of the wind is going to be the square root of 50.55 squared. And then that's going to be 129.2 squared. You add that together. So the magnitude of W 
is going to be approximately 138.7 for the wind, kilometers per hour. Now we want to find the direction of the wind. So remember that we're going to use tangent of theta. So tangent of theta is B over A. So that's going to be 129.2 over 50.55. And theta is 68.63 degrees. And so this is the wind. It's going this direction here, 68 point sixty three degrees so if you notice the airspeed is 875 and the ground speed is 800 so therefore it's slowing it down so the wind is going against the plane so 68.63 degrees that is in quadrant one know, know that we know that because of our resultant vector here right that's both positive and positive so we know we're in quadrant one so therefore it is 68.63 degrees but we need to know the bearing and so the bearing we know is towards the north so here's north and so we're going to do 90 degrees minus 68.63 degrees. So therefore, we know that the bearing is what we're really looking for for our wind is north 21.37 degrees east.